Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner and today is the YouTubers weekly stamping collab and Ginger from Gels and Gems is hosting it and the theme is honeybees. So let's take a look at everybody's video. Mine is, I mean everybody's picture. Mine is the last and I'll show you how I did it. All the information will be in the district in the description box below. So let's get started. So here's what I used to make this little bee. I used um, Zoya Purity and Zoya, I don't know, <laughs> um, because I dropped my whole box of Zoya on the floor and a bunch of it broke and I had to clean up all the mess off of all the bottles. So now I have no idea what the heck that one is, but it's pretty and it's yellow and it has sparkles. And I'm using the black lacquer from Clean Slate. I mean, from Wave Gel. It's Clean Slate. And I have a little piece of tin foil that I just um, put a little drop of polish on. I just like to do that because then I don't have to clean up anything and just throw it in the trash. Then I took my dotting tool and I picked up some of the white and I just kind of made a little blob and kind of brought it down like this. Yep, that's exactly what I did. Kind of brought it to a point. And this is basically just the base so that the yellow stands out a little bit better. So this dries relatively fast, and when that's dry, I just did the same thing with the yellow polish. And then with my dotting tool, it's colored on top of the white. I got out of the lines a little. You, I could have either used my corrector pen to correct that, or I'm just going to leave it because it'll be um, covered up by the wings. So I'm not going to worry about that. So we'll wait till that dries. This dries relatively fast on the mat. And then I did use this, um, this brush, but I don't like it. I, I didn't like it at all. <laughs> um, it really kind of, I thought it was going to be thin and nice to use, but it really isn't. And I'm thinking the brush that I used for the wings is going to be too thick for the stripes. So we are going to use my very thin dining tool right here. Oh, I used the wrong end. Jeez. I guess it would help if I use my very thin dotting tool and actually use the correct end. Jeez. Huh. Well, this is not turning out real good. But that one looks really good. <laughs> okay. 
then I went in and made some wings which I could have done with the dotting tool, probably would have been easier, but I didn't. Well, this isn't going to turn out good and I don't really like it. Whatever. Oops. I think I messed up his wing too. Okay. I'm not going to use this one anyway. I'm going to use that little guy. And then I picked up the skinny end of the dotting tool and just put a teeny bit of black dot on there because I had a lot of space and I made an eyeball. Just like that. Now, let me get a little darker. There we go. That looks kind of cute, sort of. Then when that's dry, I put on a shiny, no clean top coat. And the whole thing took maybe three to five minutes to do. Um, basically, I you know stopped the camera off and waited really like 30 seconds for it to dry. So this is pretty, this is almost real time here. For the flowers, I'm going to use Uber Chic Beauty's Love and Marriage 2 plate. And I'm going to use this little flower right here. And then I'm going to use my Moira Black Stamping Polish. And I'm going to color in the flowers with a variety of the lacquers from um, my Wave Gel, um, my Wave Gel Matching Set. So um, as I use them, I'll tell you what colors I'm going to use. So the first one we'll use right now is called Pink Panther. And I'm going to use my Uber Chic Beauty Sticky Stamper and Scraper. Okay. Okay, and first we're just going to create the flowers. So now I'm just going to remove the parts of the image that I don't need. And I've got my um, my silicone tool here. I don't usually use this very much, but let's try it out. So I've got my silicone tool and I'm just going to not remove that because it never works for me. I'm going to get a piece of tape. Works for everyone else, not me. Never. I've never been able to remove any stamping with that silicone tool. I've seen lots of people use it. <laughs> well, maybe I just need some practice. I don't know. All right, so there is my um, there's my flower. So I'm just going to bring in the wave gel. And I'm just going to... Color it in. Oops, there's a big drip coming down. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to color that in. Okay. And when it's dry, I'm going to cover it with Wet n Wild. Um, Wet n Wild Clear to make a, a decal out of it. So now I'm going to use this big one to hopefully save some time. And I'm going to use Mulberry and Strawberry Shortcake. So these are the three colors I'm going to choose for all of the flowers. Okay, so I'm going to remove the leaves and um, get started on coloring in the flowers. Okay, I don't know why there's a big glare on my stamping head. It's so weird. 
Okay, so on to coloring in the little flowers. Oops, oh my goodness. This just wants to run right off. And hit my flower. Okay. Yeah, that's a lovely brush. Oh my gosh, look at how big this brush is. Oh jeez. I think I might have to get the tin foil out and use my teeny little brush to um, color in these. And the rest of them. Here's a little brush. This is good. Oops, a little brush with a big blob of color on it. Oh my gosh, this is really not my day today. Ugh. Okay, and we'll just set that aside. First I'll be using Wave Gel's base coat. Now I'm going to use Mulberry and Strawberry Shortcake. Okay, so I have two coats of each, and now I'll be adding the flowers. Okay, so I've got the little, one of the little flower decals right here. And I'm just going to put it on right there. And on this finger, I'm going to put a flower right here. Okay, and then I've got my little honeybee over here. I'm just going to stick it right here. This one I did yesterday, so that's why it's giving me a little trouble about bending, as I did on my Uber mat yesterday. And really, if you're going to do it on your Uber mat, you got to use it right away. That's okay. Most of it is sticking because I left the tacky layer on here, so that's a really good thing. Okay, and I've got some more little flowers to put right here. Decided to add some fairy dust and now I'll be putting on the shiny no clean top coat and here's the finished look I hope you like it if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you're not one of my subscribers please subscribe thank you for watching bye for now